Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about Assistant API in Azure OpenAI SDK. First, we'll understand the Chat Completion API, how it works. Chat Completion API works with a simple message. We can use a model like GPT-4 or 4O Mini or any supported models we can use to generate the response. This API is flexible and powerful, but it does not keep track of the conversation state tools or other resources. So we need to manage those manually. Managing part assistant API solve it. And also assistant API, it's an assistant for your app. Each assistant has instruction and can use models like GPT-4 or a 4O Mini or OpenAI supported models, tools and files to answer user questions. Right now, the assistant API offer three tools. One for code interpreter, file search and function calling and assistant api has three main components assistant threads and run so as i mentioned assistant include the base model instruction tools and other extra document for the context thread this is the main part that keep track of each conversation state which i mentioned in the chat completion api the conversation we have to maintain it in assistant api the threads take care of this part so this thread keep track of each conversation state and finally runs so runs handles the assistant actions with a thread including generating the response and using tools across multiple uh, steps let's start how to implement this feature in our azure open sdk using dotnet let's start so here i divided this part into five category first one is a uh, open ai second initialization creation execution deletion these are the steps we have to follow to create a simple assistant in dotnet framework so the first step we have to initialize the assistant so for installation we have to request to the azure open ai hey i need to create the assistant let's initialize once the installation part is done the next step first we have to create the assistant the assistant we have to mention the model which model we are going to use and in the instruction for the assistant okay what is the assistant name and what type of instruction the assistant going to handle and what type of tools we are going to use that we have to mention in the assistant once the assistant has been created the next step we have to create the thread so the thread made in the each conversation state as a user or assistant we have to pass our prompt to the thread so the thread we have to pass our instruction like uh, right here python program to add two numbers like that this message we have to pass to the thread and once this step creation is done then finally we have to go to the execution part in the execution part is a run come to the picture in beginning of the video i explained that there are three type of component available assistant thread and the run so finally run come to the picture so run handle the assistant action with the thread to generate the user response or assistant response. Run take care of this, this step. Once our execution is done, finally we have to delete the assistant and the thread. So this is a deletion part. So these are the steps we have to follow to create one simple assistant using Azure OpenAI SDK. Let's move on to our Visual Studio and we write one simple sample program following this step, how to implement the assistant API. In Visual Studio, I have created one console application called OpenAI Assistant. The first step in the NuGet package, we have to install the Azure A OpenAI SDK we have to install and make sure you have to use the beta version because Assistant API is in the beta. So I have used the latest beta version 2.1.0. Once the installation done, we have to follow the step which we seen in this whiteboard. So first up, we have to create the Azure OpenAI client. The first up, this one. So go here, I create the Azure OpenAI client. So Azure OpenAI client and Azure OpenAI client and new of Azure OpenAI client. Here we have to pass the endpoint and the API key. So here I just create the URI. At the moment, it's empty and uh, key we have to pass that also i pass as empty later we come to this step so once open a client has been created we have to initialize the assistant so for that 
here I declare assistant client assistant client assistant client we have to request the Azure OpenAI object I need the assistant client object once we added this line you can see the error message we have to disable this error message because as I mentioned this is a preview so we have to disable OpenAI 001 so here I add the warning disable more warning disable open AI 001 so the warning gone now okay so this step has been done the next step the creation part the first step we have to create the assistant so I'm going to create the assistant here assistant and assistant we have to request to the assistant client so we have to request this guy I'm going to create the assistant so assistant client dot create assistant async I'm going to use the async function so here I add the weight and the main program convert to async function so async and this one is a task yeah Here we have to specify the model which model we are going to use that also I pass as empty let us come to this part and the next argument is the optional argument assistant creation option this is the optional argument but for best back practice I always suggest use this parameter to fill your assistant options so here going to create the assistant option creation option here assistant creation option new of assistant create creation option and set the name and name is Azure open AI SDK assistant and uh, instruction just this is a sample assistant created using Azure Open SDK and finally we have to set the tools as I mentioned there are three type of tool available so in the tool definition you can see the code interpreter file search and function search which type of tools you are going to use that we have to mention for this sample I'm going to use this uh, create code interpreter so I pass this one and this assistant option I want to pass as a second argument here creation option so this is done and I add the code comments here so better understanding create an assistant and here get or create the assistant client get or create the assistant client the next step we have to create the thread so here assistant thread assistant thread assistant thread await again we have to request the assistant client only so the assistant client dot create thread sync so this function we have to use and all the parameters are optional again but I'm going to pass a thread creation option so here I'm going to create thread creation option thread creation option new of thread create option here I am set the initial message like hi assistant hi assistant create a python program to add two numbers so, so I request the assistant you are going to create the python program to add two numbers this is my instruction this I passed as a here thread option thread creation option so this step is done so create thread so as I mentioned here 
we have to pass a message to here so that's what I set up the message part here so this is a message part message part and this is a creation thread part okay so we've done the step the creation part finally we move to the execution part the execution part I'm going to use a steam concept to implement this run assistant so for that here wait for each streaming update streaming update and the variable name streaming update in assistant client dot create run streaming async this function we have to use to get the final output so here we have to specify okay which thread i need to run the thread as i mentioned this is a conversation between the assistant and the user this thread has maintained so we have to mention okay which thread you want to run so here assistant thread dot id here i pass the thread id the next we have to specify the assistant okay this thread id fine which assistant I have to maintain so that assistant also we have to pass that's assistant dot id that's it and here we have to check the condition streaming update dot update kind there are different type of streaming option available the kind message run has created so the first step is run created we just inform to the user so console dot right right line run created else if we have to check the streaming update object streaming update is message message content update the streaming update is a kind of message content update from there we have to print the information so here console dot right line content update dot text information that's it once streaming done we have to delete assistant and thread so for that I just add the wait here and request the assistant client delete assistant so here we have to pass which assistant we have to delete that ID we have to pass it the same for the thread thread that's it so I just here I add the and read okay so far we follow the steps which mentioned in our diagram so initialization creation execution deletion is done okay finally we have to create our endpoint API key and the model which model we are going to use for that I go to my Azure Open Air Studio in Azure Open Air Studio the playground you can see the assistant preview you have to go to this tab and you have to create the new deployment in case if you not created the deployment you cannot use it the assistant so make sure you create the deployment which assistant supported model that also one of the main concern here here I created my deployment YouTube 4 this is my deployment and uh, from there you can find your URI and the API key and your deployment information so this information we have to pass to the open AI. so go back to our visual studio I have already added my URI API key and model added into my constant file so I just directly read from my constant file here so constant dot endpoint and here I have to pass the key so constant dot api key and uh, here I have to pass my deployment name so constant dot model that's it so all the stuff is done we run this application and uh, see the result so run created and we get the response so here the simple program to add two numbers python 
we'll add the command I don't changes not the stop this one change to right line right function yeah now we run the again yeah here we get the result so this is a simple example how to create assistant api sdk in dotnet